So this morning, we're going to look at configuring a Mikrotik router as an example. So now we're going to log into the Mikrotik dashboard. Uh, go to IP settings and down to the DNS settings, whichever route you're using, find those DNS settings. And we'll start off by entering two IP addresses of the, the data centers that are nearest us. So the first one is the primary one. In this case, we're choosing the Frankfurt IP address. And then we'll set a secondary IP address of the Milan data center. We have a number of data centers around the world offering local access and high resiliency. Apply that. Now we're going to go to system and we're going to go to scripts. And we're going to name this, this script. Script flash start start. And now we're going to import it um, straight cut and paste from the uh, router wizard in the flash in the flash start dashboard itself that we we showed you in the earlier video and now we're gonna we're gonna change a couple of things here we're gonna change the user to put in the individual credentials in this case it's test at email.com and we're going to put in the relevant password for that excellent We apply that and that's the scripting done. Just one more step to go. And we're going in system and we're now going to the scheduler. So just setting the time for when the script will actually run. So we'll give a meaningful name. We'll set it to run every five minutes. And we'll just reference the name of the actual script there. So we're applying that and we are done. So once you've done this, you're, you're configured on the root end of things. Don't forget two critical points. Remember to point your PCs and mobile devices to your router. And then secondly, if you're a Microsoft Active Directory user, remember that you've only got to uh, point the DNS credentials on the server to the router. And you're done. That's the end of the setup. Thanks for watching.